Spoiler warning, I'm going to be talking about Guilt Trip episode 11 of season 4, just letting you know in case if you haven't watched it. But if you did, enjoy this video because we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. Hey guys, welcome back to another video in Cat Blanc Express's Justice. Today's video, we're going to be talking about Guilt Trip, like you saw in the title, like you saw in the spoiler warning. Many people say that it wasn't as exciting as other episodes and they expected more. But we will talk about that and definitely about the internet development. Yep, what is going on with you, Adrian? And if you want to know, don't leave this video and subscribe down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. And let's begin this video. Guilt Trip Overall, we found out that Rose had an illness when she was young and she hasn't said anything to avoid a different treatment of her classmates and friends. Even though she has an illness, she's always positive and lovable. I love that Miraculous added this concept in a show and it's really very wholesome. Julia and Rose, definitely I think this is the cutest thing that occurred in this episode. Honestly, I think it's not confirmed that they're a couple yet, but even though they are not a couple, it's so cute how we can see Julika's love for Rose and how they both complement each other is so beautiful. Adrenet development. Okay, I know this is what you guys waited for. Definitely, when we watched this episode, there are some scenes that made us yell of joy, but for me, I felt like something was missing. We see that Marinette is still looking at Adrian and crushing at him. And that's something usual, right? But like definitely season four, he's still she's still giving a chance to Adrian. There's something going on, you know? Did Aya tell Marinette, don't worry, you can still give a chance to Adrian? Who knows? Boom. We shift to the scene where Adrian bumps into Marinette. And that smile. That smile! Adrian, what is going on? Did you change? Marinette's not just a friend if you smile at her like that. Like, that smile was different, okay? And then, like, they bump into each other. He's like, it's okay. And he smiles. Like, Adrian, what is going on? Like, you're acting like a boyfriend here, you know? Crazy theory. I don't know when, but an episode before this episode, before Guilt Trip, something happened that deepened their friendship. Like, you can tell the development and the closeness and the comfortableness. Like, there's stuff here. There's, like things that he wouldn't normally do like mr grass what is going on like look at these pictures definitely something's missing something occurred that deepened their relationship deepened their friendship he just doesn't smile like that for free lady noir now we see this beautiful moment that i love it so much literally in season four we haven't seen a lot of closeness between ladybug and canoir like in the episode of lies we see ladybug saying that canoir stop sacrificing yourself for me i can't take it anymore and then we see that she's telling the truth about what Cat Noir is for her. In this episode, she said that she wouldn't know what to do if he wouldn't be his partner. She appreciates his humor and how he brings fun when they fight an akumatized villain. He smiles and then he compliments her that she is perfect. You know, I really wish this was a bit longer. Maybe it would have much bigger impact for this Lady Noir scene. Why is Gloop releasing bad episodes? Now, this has become really popular. People have been saying that Gloop is releasing Monster Food. Monster Food wasn't that interesting and Guilt Trip wasn't either. Personally, I think Guilt Trip was good, but of course it wasn't that impacting as Lies or Gang of Secrets. Some people are saying that why are they releasing episodes that aren't in chronological order? Like, what's the point? Like, Queen Banana, like Guilt Trip, like Monster Food. Well, like we saw in Guilt Trip and Monster Food, they don't really add or change anything in the plot. That's why they can release episodes like Queen Banana. That's why Miraculous Ladybug is allowing that. Because people, fans, think that Gloob is spoiling us and they're not respecting the fact that we want to watch it in chronological order because they're spoiling the storyline. But Gloob is releasing those episodes because those episodes don't really add anything and doesn't change anything to the storyline, right? So I think that Gloob is just releasing the episode that they can in these episodes probably don't add anything to the storyline if they're not in chronological order i hope that makes sense i really don't i think i i don't make sense at all in this huge little concept but honestly i don't really think guilt trip was a bad episode i think it was good of course not that impacting as lies or, or a gang of secrets but you guys let me know what you think of in the comments like did you like this episode and if you did what was your favorite scene and don't forget to subscribe down below and leave a like if you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys